Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kick start your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that you should never second guess your gut feeling. We've all had those situations where we had a gut feeling about a person, a situation, went against our initial intuition only to learn later that our gut feeling was right all along. Our gut feelings serve as our internal GPS that is meant to guide us in the right direction and away from making bad decisions. Of course, it's normal to sometimes go against our gut feelings in the course of our lives as we are learning and growing. But the more enlightened we become, the more we become aligned to our higher self and use our gut feelings to guide us along our journey. So how do we listen to our gut feeling? The best way to get an answer to anything you've been contemplating is to get still and quiet. Close your eyes and simply ask. You'll be amazed how much clarity and wisdom you can get by simply quieting your mind and listening to your inner voice. As Rachel Wolchin quotes, never apologize for trusting your intuition. Your brain can play tricks with you. Your heart can be blind, but your gut is always right. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, Miss Marvel is the first Muslim superhero, which is groundbreaking. So as a Muslim woman yourself, uh, what did that mean for you to be part of this cast? Oh my God, I think um, the most beautiful thing about this project is that it's it's the first time we have a brown Muslim superhero. And, um, you know, for every ethnicity, there needs to be a hero that, that speaks to them or speaks for them or represents them, that resonates with them. And I think uh, with Miss Marvel, I wish I had Miss Marvel when I was growing up, when I was a young girl, when I was a kid. But I'm so glad now my niece has a superhero that she can, you know, relate with. And she can really there is this ownership around it and i think for all teenagers that's the beauty that it's yes it is a a, a brown muslim superhero but with through kamala's journey you can actually see that every teenager can can relate to her and she speaks to everyone and you know her challenges her struggles that's what every teenager goes through wardrobe provided by h and m Next up on the show, we have actress Navish Hayat. Navish joins us to talk about her role as Aisha in the Marvel Studios' Miss Marvel. Navish, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for, for having me and uh, I'm doing great. Well, I'm How very, are you? I'm doing very well. It's a beautiful, very hot day in Toronto. 31 degrees, so I'm having wow. a great time and I'm so excited to talk to you. Um, I love Miss Marvel. I love your character. You really stand out. But before we get into Miss Marvel and, you know, joining the Marvel Universe, I mean, let's talk about you. Um, when did you uh, develop a love for acting? So um, it started very early on because my mother used to be an actress and I would see her uh, working and on screen and I would also go to the TV station where they used to have these massive studios and uh, after school I would just tag along and uh, I would get dropped at the TV station spend time with her and just see the the people hard at work creating sets you know the makeup department everything would fascinate me so much and that eight-year-old would just sit there and and enjoy the the whole process, you know, watching it and seeing people work. And I think I I think that's where I developed the love and that kind of uh, fascination towards it. And I I worked as a child actor as well. I did a few uh, commercials as a child child actor. And uh, even then, I mean, I remember everyone was like so supportive and uh, I remember there was this shot on the beach where I had to hold the bubble gum and you know there were reflectors out there and I had to make sure that I'm not 
closing my eyes, but it was like the sun and the reflector was so harsh. But still, I was, you know, at the age of eight, I made sure I'm keeping my eyes open and not blinking. You wow. know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I have been a professional since I was a kid. But yeah, I loved the whole process. I loved playing dress up. Uh, I loved being in front of the camera since I was a kid. And I think my mother did it as a hobby, but I took this profession way too seriously. Mm. It's my life. Yeah, it's my everything. Wow, as a kid, wow. I'm, I'm surprised you were able to deal with, you know, sets and stuff like that. It's difficult as an adult, but very impressive as, yeah. a, as a kid as well. And I Thank know you. that you're a popular actress in Pakistan for viewers that don't know internationally. So let's talk about your first big break. So my first um, big break, I would say I was working in TV commercials and uh, I also worked on, in TV shows. So, yeah those did really well but my big break in the movie industry happened when i was part of this movie as it was a special appearance and um, i had a song a, a three and a half minute song called billy and that was the first time people saw me on the big screen as a film actress in this as a glamorous you know um, actress in that movie it was only a special appearance but it literally kind of, um, that was the shift from TV, from a household name, from, you know, um, more of a household name to a film star, which was a big glamorous song. Mm -hmm. And it actually became, it was such an iconic song that people still remember it. It was back in 2013. But still, there are people who call me Billy. Billy means cat. Oh. <laughs> and, yeah, and the movie's name was Namalum Afraad, and that oh, was my nice. first big break on, on you know, in cinema. Oh, very nice. And did you ever want to transition to Hollywood, or, or was it something that happened accidentally? So, Daryl, I think as an artist, I always wanted to spread my wings, and, and as an artist, I always wanted to go beyond borders, look beyond borders, and be able to expand as an artist. And I think I didn't expect it to happen, but it did happen. But as an artist, I think I always wanted it to happen, mm. if you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that, that so many South Asian women are now transitioning to Hollywood. I know Priyanka Chopra, who was on my show, we had a one-on-one. -on -one and. It's just amazing to see so many South Asians. And I, talking about that, I want to talk about Miss Marvel. Um, it's an amazing role that you have. So let's talk about it and your role as Aisha. So Aisha is Kamala Khan's great grandmother. And she is a clandestine. She plays into the origin story of hers. So um, with Kamala's journey, through that journey, we get to know more and more about Aisha and eventually find out what exactly happened in 1947 and 1942 is where her story begins and she finds the bangle. Um, so yeah, I mean, what I loved about my character, Aisha's character, was that she's a warrior, she's a clandestine, but at the same time, there's this, you know, vulnerability, these shades, different shades and layers to her character, which was honestly a pleasure to play. And uh, the fact that it actually resonated with so many people, so much love was, uh, you know, there was an outpour of love for Aisha. And also the fact that my story, my track was set up in, in the partition, um, in, in partition, which is such an important part in our history, uh, such an important episode in our history. Um, and I think I was literally moved to tears, but also what a wonderful experience being on the set and being able to deliver those scenes which were set around partition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love that they do uh, talk about that quite a lot about the partition with India and Pakistan and uh, they show the history. It's, it's actually very interesting to see and different for Marvel, right? So it, it's nice to see. Mm -hmm. And Thank as you. you were talking about, how, how has it been uh, working with the other actresses like Iman Vellani, who also is Miss Marvel. And um, there's so many South Asians on this show. So let's talk about that in your experience. So Daryl, this show happened at the height of COVID. Mm. And we were all like, 
clueless as to what's going to happen the world's going to end or what mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> there were you know people from all around the world we were all quarantining and then we would be given some time off uh during the quarantine when we all would just come together and for for an hour everyone would be given a break so that's when we all got to know each other we we start to you know have a conversation and get to learn so much about these such talented people from all around the world that were on that were all involved so you know people from the art uh, department from um stunt department there there were actors directors producers and it was such an amazing experience just being able to bond with them get to know more about them their country their work and tell them about my country and my work it it was just a one big family and even during the shoot uh we all really bonded because it was such a a weird time i would say because of covid and also because everyone had come together to thailand we were in a bubble mm-hmm. so being in a bubble and with such creative people it was it was amazing it was it's one of the best experiences of my life to have been to have learned so much mm-hmm. through this show Very nice. And you know, Miss Marvel is the first Muslim superhero, which is groundbreaking. So as a Muslim woman yourself, uh what did that mean for you to be part of this cast? Oh my god. I think um the most beautiful thing about this project is that it's it's the first time we have a brown Muslim superhero. And um you know, for every ethnicity, there needs to be a hero that that speaks to them or speaks for them or represents them that resonates with them and i think uh with miss marvel i wish i had miss marvel when i was growing up when i was a young girl when i was a kid but i'm so glad now my niece has a superhero that she can you know relate with and she can really there is this ownership around it and i think for all teenagers that's the beauty that it's yes it is a a uh, a brown muslim superhero but with through kamala's journey you can actually see that every teenager can can relate to her and she speaks to everyone and you know her challenges her struggles that's what every teenager goes through so i think that's why it becomes more universal and the fact that it's the first brown muslim superhero story it it obviously is representing 2 billion muslims out there and uh i think because of all the diversity that is happening in in today's day and age i think it was the perfect time to have to finally have kamala khan to finally have miss marvel and i'm so proud so proud to have been a part of it yeah there is so much diversity on the show i'm watching it i was actually very surprised and i i really commend marvel for doing this um really showing different ethnic backgrounds right because we we've never seen that before i've never seen that growing up um in any of the marvel movies um and they didn't shy away from the music to act uh, they kept it very authentic which i really liked yes, and it was very yes. um surprising to see right yeah <laughs> it was refreshing it was yeah refreshing, refreshing refreshing to see absolutely so what kind of feedback have you had from other south asians and just people around the world from all, i'm sure all different backgrounds because this doesn't just inspire south asians it opens the door is for all cultures right to be part of this marvel Absolutely. universe. <laughs> Absolutely Daryl, I have been on this US tour for the screenings of my Pakistani movie and that way I was connecting with so many people when I was traveling. So it was not just South Asians that are loving it that are being able to connect uh with the show and um it's actually people from the western audiences as well. I mean I I met this guy we were having dinner um i was in atlantic city and this guy i was wearing this miss marvel jersey said miss marvel here and i was just you know i i my hair was tied in a bun and i was just sitting there with my colleagues and friends and this guy said you know um i watched this show i like this show have you watched it i said <laughs> i'm in it <laughs> oh wow <laughs> so he just looked at me and he was like aisha i said yeah yeah <laughs> he said you know what I I I don't know about your culture. I I had no idea about the partition about your culture about your food, but me and my 15-year-old daughter loved the show and we could actually connect and we learned so much about your culture and about 
you guys. And that's not the only person. I've had this feedback everywhere I'm going. So, so the fact that it's connecting with people, with audiences all around the world, it's, it's something that, that, had, that had never happened before, for me or with me at least. I mean, this is the first time I'm experiencing something that is so universal, something that just, you know, brings everyone on the same page. I think that's that's the beauty of Miss Marvel and the story. And the show creators have done such a fantastic job at bringing such authenticity to it. I mean, we, we talk about our food, we talk about our music, we have our music, and then also the culture. And then not just me, but a few other Pakistani actors were, were also given a global platform. That way, people actually got to know about Pakistani actors and imagine what it means to people back home and also the fact that the Western audience is now looking at Pakistan and they know that there's a talent pool out there and it is going to open doors for so many other actors as well. Absolutely. And, and bringing it back to your character, Aisha, um, will we be seeing more of your character uh, in future episodes? I've, uh, this is one question everyone's <laughs> been asking me. Is there going to be a season two? Is Aisha going to come back? Is there going to be a prequel? All these questions, I, have, I don't have an answer to these questions yet. But I really hope that she gets to come back and people get to know more about her background. And uh, the fact that people loved Aisha, I mean, she should have her own show. What do you say, Daniel? <laughs> yes, I completely agree. I think you're a star and I think you should. <laughs> I think Marvel is on to something. <laughs> let's put it out in the universe. And yes, let's, let's put it out there. Yeah. Let's put it out there. because I manifest can see, this. Yeah, manifest it, exactly. Because I can see you being a future superhero yourself. Oh, so. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daria. We all have a superhero in us. You know, we just need to recognize it, I think. Absolutely. That's what my show actually is about. It's to inspire, to uplift, to teach people that we all have greatness within us. Um, it's just about finding it and realizing and knowing that once you know that I mean you're unstoppable right because you know that Absolutely. you're meant for great things uh, and speaking of that you know I, I created this platform to inspire so I want to talk about what are some obstacles maybe that you faced on your journey um, and how did you get through it yourself so um, Daryl for anybody to you always would have people supporting you but at the same time there would always be obstacles as well and being an actress from Pakistan I've had my fair share of challenges and struggles and obstacles but one thing that I uh, that I think that really helped me was obviously the support from my family mm -hmm. um, endless support and I think because that gives me a lot of strength but also I think it's it's about never giving up on your dreams no mm -hmm. matter what people tell you just you know um, keep dreaming and dream big and I think that is what 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 we need in in you know with, with, with the way social media is I mean now we are more exposed to um, trolls and negativity and I think the only thing that one needs to do is believe in themselves believe in their dreams like I did imagine a girl from Karachi <laughs> an actress from Pakistan and now I'm a part of the MCU so um, I never gave up on my dreams a girl from Karachi going to Hollywood if I can do it any girl can do it but just you know believe in yourself don't give up and keep dreaming and dream big Mm, I love that. I always get goosebumps when people give advice like that because it's such <laughs> simple advice but it's so true right it's not giving up yeah. yes absolutely not giving up and also yeah. thinking big. I mean, the sky really is the limit. There are, we're limitless human beings and anything is possible. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and let's talk about your current projects. I know that you were at a couple movie premieres and you're in a new movie, so let's talk about that as well. So my new movie just came out. It's called Land Nahi Jaunga and it has been the biggest worldwide release for any Pakistani movie. And uh, it's, it's, it has released in cinemas in the US, in the UK, in Canada, Australia, Middle East, um, and uh, have been getting great response. So I think these were the two projects, Miss Marvel and London Nahi Jaunga is the name of the movie. Mm -hmm. So these were the two projects that were being shot during COVID. 
and obviously now they're both out and now I'm working on something else which I have been working for for the last four years mm. because of NDAs I really can't share much but it's something I'm really excited to um, to begin shooting it's, mm. it's something something very special Ooh, can you give us a hint is it Bollywood or Hollywood or both <laughs> It's it's Hollywood. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also I'm, I'm I might come back on to my TV screens because uh, my my fans in Pakistan are missing me on on TV because our dramas are really big; they're massive mm. um, around the world. So you know, I might just do a TV show as well. Ooh. Let's see. I mean, you could do it all. <laughs> you could do it all. Yeah. And we'd be very happy to see it. <laughs> Nevesh, thank you so much for being on the show today. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to seeing more of you on screen. Hollywood, Bollywood, all over. We're really looking forward <laughs> to you. it. Yes, thank, thank you, you so Dara. much. <laughs> thank you. Lovely talking to you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. You can fly high